Hi, it's good to be with you again this week. I'm Maggie Lukowski of Maggie Moon Tarot, and here are the tarot and astrology vibes for the week. Um, we have a full moon at 23 degrees Taurus on Monday, and it's a super moon with amplified energies as it's closer to the Earth. And full moons bring things to completion, and then we're ready to release. And Taurus um, wants things to stay the same, and our Scorpio sun wants to pull everything out from the closet, what fits and what no longer serves us. So there is strong and sensitive energy around this full moon. If there's something that you need to release, you can take out your drum and drum those things right out. Or you might find a drumming circle uh, as they raise energy and can help us release what no lo what's no longer needed. And our Taurus moon trines Pluto, which can help us heal so we can move forward with Scorpio's passion for life. We're being called forward for a higher purpose um, with this full moon. And I love George Carlin's quote, there are nights when the wolves are silent and only the moon howls. And in some ways, I feel this full moon will touch us all. And then late in the day, the moon uh, moves into Gemini where communications flow more freely and many ideas will be surfacing. I mean, this is our last week where our sun is in Scorpio, so we're encouraged to use the gifts of curiosity, passion, and transformation. And the other big news is on Friday, Mercury squares Neptune. So be on our toes. Focus um, is important as there can be a torrent of information that can come in and take us off our desires and projects that we're working on. So there can be some misunderstandings or confusion. So be prepared to dig into your toolkit for those practices that help you ground. And on Saturday, Neptune stations direct. So you'll be, and you'll be feeling this earlier in the week too. And with that full moon energy, um, our dreams are more active, intuition is heightened, the veil is thinner, and messages will come through to us. Everyone will feel more sensitive during this time, so take care of the feelings of others and those of yourself and find ways to activate a healing that is breaking through. And I have been shown that this is a special time for personal healing to take place. So send positive energy to whatever you eat and drink during this time, along with the thoughts we think, which create our future. This is truly a mystical and magical week. And this week I'm reading with the amazingly gorgeous Rider Weight Tarot that, um, by U.S. Game Systems, Inc. And this one comes in a tin. The art is by Kamala, Pamela Coleman Smith and has been enhanced and the colors are just vibrant. Their backs are a midnight blue filled with stars. And I love decks in a tin as they're pocket sized and portable. I have the Vanessa Tarot in a tin, which is also offered by U.S. Games and they have others. They're not too small to see the details um, and perfect for laying out a full vignette in a small space. So let's see what messages come out for us this week. And at the beginning of the week, the Ten of Pentacles comes out. Pentacles coins um, are our earth element and the tens um, in the suit show completion or fulfillment. And this is the same time our full moon in the earth sign of Taurus where there's a completion but also a release. When you look at this card, I spy a family, but we each will notice something different here. It usually depends on what's going on in our own lives. As we, um, we may be someone that we see in the card or can relate to, or there's something else that has meaning for us. There's the mother, the father, the child, grandfather, and dogs, or there may be something else in the scene that piques our interest. Our family um, that we were born into or the tribe we choose, um, that's also uh, part of what this card talks about. And between the two lies our soul family. Some agree to come with us here to onto earth to present challenges and contrast. And others here are encouragers with gifts. And we need them both. So as we begin this week, we just might notice um, these and also release any resistance that can be blocking our abundance wherever we see or feel it. And then clarity around our choices, not somebody else's desires, can be felt and seen in our vibration. 
Everyone has their own perspective around abundance in a family system or tribe. And some come from uh, fear or a state of lack, but most importantly, what is ours? If it's now where we wish to, it to be, it's time to release as the Ten of Pentacles or Coins is showing abundant living that belongs to each one of us. And then midweek, the Page of Cups comes out. The element is wa of water. This page rep can represent a younger person in our lives, a quality, opportunity, or experience that will be offered to us. Maybe even a new relationship um, in friendship or romance. Since its element is water, we might feel a bit sensitive this week, as we talked about earlier. And it does happen around the full moon, but also our psychic sense and intuition is heightened. And the message that I have been shown um, to share is to check in and see what our heart and intuition has to say about something new this week. So don't remain stuck on some past person or experience as it will block a new desire for coming into our lives or definitely slow it down. And then the fish jumping out of the chalice is trying to get our attention. Um, Fish, is, fish can be about abundance, flow, and wisdom. So pay attention this week so the universe, um, universe's call can come through. So what is that something new you've been desiring? Take a moment to really feel it without any limiting beliefs. And then at the end of the week, the moon card, key card 18 in the major arcana comes out. And it speaks to us of mysteries, cycles, hidden things, insecurities, deception, and fears. Um, and a lot of that's going around in our world. But the moon sheds her light so that we're not paralyzed and we can see what is real and what is not. When fear is lifted, we are in a place of love and make better choices. And her gift to us is our psychic ability and our messages from dream time. And the astrological correspondence is Pisces, which is the ruler of the 12th house in the zodiac, the house of hidden knowledge. And our moon reveals what we need to look at for our own enlightenment. And there is a saying that the moon reveals what the high priestess conceals. Again, we're being asked not to allow fear of the unknown to control us, but to reveal itself for what it is, and we can choose to live in the light. And for each of us, something or things will be revealed to us this week to allow us to move forward. And our blessing card is the Seven of Pentacles. And I often think, oh, what will I do with that extra coin or pentacle? And as we are grateful for what we already have, we are even given more. We have an abundant plenty and even some to share. So make that decision where to put your extra pentacle or coin this week. And then I remember the quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Once you make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. And that, my friends, are the vibes for the week. I want to thank you for stopping by and I invite you to click on the like and subscribe buttons if you've enjoyed this video and share with your friends. And I've included um, a link in the About section to the Radiant Rider Wait to Row from US Games, Inc. And a link to my website, MaggieMoonToRow.com, if you'd like to contact me, schedule a session, or subscribe to my blog, which includes my weekly YouTube videos and much more. So until we meet again next week, laugh often, love much, create your own happiness, believe in miracles and magic, be kind, support each other. Namaste.